SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket has been successfully launched from Florida today carrying a new NASA device that can track air pollution over North America. The name of the device which the rocket carried is TEMPO that stands for Tropospheric Emissions Monitoring of Pollution. This instrument will allow scientists to monitor air pollutants and their emission sources from space more comprehensively than ever before even down to the neighborhood level. According to Kevin Doherty, NASA's Tempo project manager, the instrument will measure pollution and air quality across Greater North America on an hourly basis during the daytime all the way from Puerto Rico up to the tar sands of Canada. The data will be used by the US Environmental Protection Agency, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and other agencies responsible for tackling atmospheric pollution. A unique feature of Tempo, which is about the size of a washing machine and which has been described as a chemistry lab in space is that it will be hosted on an Intelsat communication satellite in geostationary orbit. Existing pollution monitoring satellites are in low earth orbit which means that they can only provide observations once a day at a fixed time. Tempo will be able to measure atmospheric pollution down to a special resolution of 4 square miles that is up to 10 square kilometers or neighborhood level. Tempo will have multiple applications from measuring levels of various pollutants to providing air quality forecasts and helping the development of emission control strategies. Among the pollutants tracked by Tempo will be nitrogen dioxide produced from the combustion of fossil fuels, formaldehyde and ozone. The data will be made available online for members of the public to monitor air quality information in their local area. Tempo will power up at the end of May or in early June and begin producing data in October, although it will not be made available to the general public until April of next year. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.